All right, this is a little activity um, about dealing with stress that you can do with your students if you choose to. Now, in psychology, we always talked about uh, the definition of stress being demands made on an organism to adjust. And I would take like this yardstick or a meter stick and say, students, when I put stress on this stick, it adjusts by bending. And, and this is physical stress. But this is a lot like the stress in our lives. And today, I think there's a lot of stress that people are aware of with, you know, during the times of COVID-19, when it is in these uncertain times, in these ever-changing times, or in these challenging times. So the, big, the key word to me is to adjust. And when stress causes us to get here, how do we get back to here to where, you know, that's our normal line or our midline, if you will. Um, I've also described it as in life, sometimes if, if you said stress is this paper clip, and if you put this paper clip on your head, you might not know it's even there. But if you don't adjust or get that paper clip off and the stress keeps piling up, it can crush you eventually. You know, one more stressor. So we always tried to work with young people on how to make adjustments in their lives on dealing with stress. And, you know, when we're talking about negative stress or distress and adjusting to that or, you know, so we don't do negative types of adjustments or what we call defense coping, things like, you know, getting in negative emotional states, um, inappropriate responses in how we, you know, interact with others. Maybe we choose drugs, alcohol, smoking. Um, all kinds of illness can result from stress. So what we look at is different ways of active coping, and everybody's different, so there's a lot of different ways to active cope that work differently for people. You know, say, some people might exercise and it makes them feel better, and that's one of the number one ways that professionals you know, suggest dealing with stress is daily exercise. And some people don't like that. It's more stressful to them. But, you know, things like exercise, eating a balanced diet, take time to relax. Journaling can be very good. Uh, make sure you get adequate sleep. Slow down. Uh, keep the drama out of your life. Um, be aware of things on social media, how it affects you. And, you know, time management. There's all kinds of things. But what we've done is we've offered you a sheet that you can work with your students. And number one, you have your students go through and they will list the stressor and they will describe why does this event cause stress in their life? Um, what effects does it have on them? Is there anything positive about the stress that they're not seeing? Um, what adjustment can you make in your life to deal with this stress, that's very important. And so can you take and make that adjustment to overcome the stress in your life? That's the most important you know, step that young people can do because stress won't just go away on its own. So we have to do something actively to get rid of it. So I hope if you choose to do this activity with your students that you have a good time with it and it helps someone. Thank you very much.